Ellie, now we welcome in. Believe it or not, she was our player to watch for you tonight's game. That. How about that? She ends up finishing with four cause turnovers and five ground balls. Sarah Rorty, what does it feel to be Matt Commonwealth regular season champions? I mean, it's something that going into this game, we definitely, we I think we were expecting it. Um, just the, the growth that we've had through this season, I think we've gotten better. Um, you know, through each game, we've gotten better. And, and even some of these games, we haven't been playing our best, and we still end up winning by, you know, 10 or more. So um, super exciting. And it's, you know, something obviously that, that hasn't happened in a, in a while, and not since I've been here, not since the seniors have been here. So it's awesome to get it for the seniors um, and just, you know, get that ball rolling for with um, how, how we'll be in the future. I think we can, we can run this conference for a while. I like, I like it. That. I like it. <laughs> I like it too. Speak it into existence. I, I like, like that. It too. So you were confident going into this game. I was confident of you, and I even made my prediction at the very beginning of the game that we were going to win tonight. And Glenn Clark said, "Don't you jinx this, MC." I'm a little like, more. I, I'm yeah. not. I'm. I'm not a little stitious. I'm superstitious. <laughs> yeah. But I. That's another was, office reference. <laughs> Do you catch it when I call her the assistant to the regional yeah. manager? Yeah. yeah of course. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> but fourteen to three. I know. No goals by Messiah in the second half. Yeah. Did you predict that? Nope, not not <laughs> quite. Um, you know, I think we know that our defense is, is obviously very strong. Um, mm. But zero goals in the second half is just. I mean, I I don't even I don't think we've done that to any team this this year. Like even some of the weaker teams that we have in our conference. So just to kind of come out and you know we know that this is a big game for us. It, it didn't take much for us to get fired up. Obviously, we know what this game means, but. Um, you know that that's a little unexpected, but now that it happens, it's like, well, yeah, you know that okay. that that's you know that's who we are as a defense. Um, and I, my, I mean, I think the attack helped us too with the redefense and and being able to keep the ball as long as they did on their end. They they made our job a lot easier. So yeah, it was a little unexpected, but at the same time, we know what we're capable of. So. There you go. The confidence is oozing right now. I love that. Sarah, that being said, you get to celebrate, obviously, and you deserve to celebrate mm -hmm. this one. But remembering this doesn't get you into the NCAA right. tournament, right? right? Like, how important is it? You got a week off now to, to enjoy it, but then get right back to work. Right. Well, that's what I just said in the locker room. As soon as as soon as everyone got in, you know, we're not done yet. And we know we're not done yet. We still have to get through the conference championship. And even then, if we win it, we we're not just happy to be in the NCAA's. We want to win games, and we think we can go really far. And um, I think we can beat pretty much everyone we play. Um, I know, like we are very confident right now. And um, just seeing our attack play, you know, I think this is probably the best attack that we've had since I've been here. Um, they work really well together, and um, that's something in the past that we haven't had as much. And now that we have it, it's just you know. Um, I, I don't know. I think we can beat anybody. It, it helps to have Carly Bowes on your team. Yeah. Oh my. It helps to have Sarah already on your team. Wait a second, sister. though. Let's talk about Carly for one second, okay. right? How inspiring is it to you to see someone who's literally the, now the greatest goal scorer in Stevenson history that also is willing to do the things that she does defensively and make everyone's life miserable? I mean, I, I think that defense is her strong suit, honestly. She's probably, I mean, she's a midfielder, but she's probably one of our best straight up defenders that we have on our team. Um, and then obviously her speed. You guys can see it. Um, that makes so much difference, and um, she's grown a lot from you know since when we were freshmen. Um, just that development from you know scoring a couple goals here and there in the past couple seasons to scoring what does she have 60 now something like that 59 yeah 59 yeah, right. like it's just it's unreal and y you can tell that she she works hard you know in the weight room and in the off season um, and in every other aspect of like she's a very hard worker. But it's you know if you have a girl like her on your team. You think you can beat anybody, and we think we can beat anybody. Well, you've been beating everybody. That's the way it's been working of late. Sarah, it's working King, for you. Congratulations <laughs> on a you. massive win. Yeah. And by the way, Sarah's also moving up the all-time record lists in That's a few categories is. and is threatening some history of her own here at Stevenson that we'll be talking about. Congratulations. We'll see you next week. Thank you. Great job. By the way, you want to throw in a shout-out to anybody before we let you go? Any shout-outs real quick? Uh, shout-out to my grandparents, Mimi and Pop-Pop. I know you guys are watching, and I love you, and I can't wait for you guys to come back up to Maryland. That Aww. is awesome. Nice. Thank you, Sarah. Sarah Already after a great night, she was our player to watch tonight. We I caught know. a shot a little bit on that Dang. one. Caught and we knew she was going to come right. up for the interview too. 